in this question. It says use the standard reduction potentials uh, to calculate the standard reaction free energy delta G for the following redox reaction. And you may recall that um, delta G naught equals minus N, the number of moles of electrons transferred, F, Faraday's constant, times the standard reduction potential for the cell. So this is basically the equation we want to use. The problem is we don't know the standard reduction potential for the cell. So we need to figure that out. So how are we going to figure that out? Well, first of all, we need to figure out what's being oxidized and what's being reduced. So if you look at copper here, it's going from plus 1 to plus 2. So plus 1 to plus 2 is losing electrons. So oxidation is occurring. Let's look at manganese. We have MN plus, we have two oxygens, each with an oxidation state of minus 2 equals the overall charge, which is 0. MN minus 4 equals 0. MN equals plus 4. So here, the oxidation state on manganese is plus 4. And over here, it's plus 2. So it's gained electrons. So reduction has occurred. Now, we need to find uh, the standard reduction potentials uh, that are going on here. And we also need to see how many electrons are going to be transferred. So let's look at the cathode first. And of course, at the cathode, we have reduction occurring. In this case, we have um, MnO2 solid, and it's going to yield um, Mn2 plus aqueous. And to get this to occur, we have to add two electrons. So I'm going to put two electrons here. Now we can balance out um, the waters. You could probably just look this up on the table, but we can balance it out. We have two oxygens here, no oxygens over here, so we need to add two waters. And if we add two waters, we add um, four hydrogens, so therefore we need four H plus aqueous over here. And this gives us uh, the reaction. If we look up the standard reduction potential of that reaction in the table, we find that it's equal to 1.224 volts. So this is the reaction that is occurring. Now let's look at the, at the anode. And at the anode, oxidation is occurring, or electrons are being pushed out of there, or it's losing electrons, however you want to say it. In this case, we have Cu2 plus aqueous, excuse me, Cu plus aqueous forms Cu2 plus aqueous, and it must have lost an electron. So this is what's occurring at, the, at this end of the reaction. And here, the standard reduction potential is equal to 0 0.153 volts. But you'll notice, in order to have the overall reaction work, we need to cancel out the electrons. So if we have two electrons here, we need to have two electrons here. Said another way, we need to double everything. So we have 2 Cu plus aqueous yields 2 Cu2 plus aqueous plus 2 electrons. And now if you go through the process of adding these two reactions together, you will get this overall reaction. We still haven't figured out the um, E naught of the cell. So recall that delta, uh, not delta, E naught for the cell is equal to the reduction potential at the cathode minus the reduction potential at the anode. So in this case, at the cathode, um, the reduction potential is 1.224 volts minus the reduction potential at the anode, which is 0 0.153 volts. And when you subtract those two numbers, you get 1.071 volts. We can now plug all this stuff in. Delta G equals minus N N is 2 moles of electrons have been transferred, so 2 moles. 
times Faraday's constant, which is 9.649 times 10 to the 4 coulombs per mole, times the standard reduction potential, which we just found, which is 1.071 volts. Now, the 2 is a counted number, so it doesn't have sig figs. So we have 4 sig figs here and 4 sig figs here. So our delta G should have 4 sig figs. Delta G equals um, minus 2067. Zero, 0 coulombs times volts. And a coulomb times a volt is the same thing as a joule. One coulomb volt is one joule. So now we could just convert to kilojoules if we want to make it a more convenient number, divide by a thousand. So if we divide this by a thousand, we get negative 206.7 kilojoules as the free energy uh, for this um, reaction.